Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the new video in this uh, Kotlin core routine series. In uh, this video I'm going to explain you more about uh, with context uh, suspending function. So uh, what's the purpose of this function you might be asking? Well, its main purpose as you might assume is to actually switch context. So uh, it's a suspend function and it will suspend until it completes and returns the result. So uh, this function will uh, shift execution of the block into a different thread if a new dispatcher is uh, specified and uh, it will get back to the original dispatcher when it completes. So uh, this suspending function is uh, cancelable by default and uh, it immediately checks for a cancellation of the core routine in which uh, was called and uh, it uh, throws a cancellation exception if it is not active. Okay, so uh, that will be uh, enough theory for uh, this uh, function. And now let's get back to Android Studio and I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to type uh, with uh, context. And now as you can see, uh, we're going to get an error because this uh, with context is actually a suspending function and that's why we need to call this function only inside the coroutine. So now I'm going to cut this part of the code and I'm going to launch, for example, a global scope uh, coroutine. So now when we place this uh, with context function inside, then uh, we are not going to get a warning from Android Studio. But here, as you can see, uh, this function accepts uh, context. So uh, for example, uh, let's say that our global scope is using uh, dispatcher IO. So basically this uh, with context uh, function can basically change the dispatcher. So let's uh, choose dispatchers.main. So now I'm going to write uh, two different uh, log statements right here. So I'm going to name them uh, coroutine and here I'm going to say uh, this dot uh, coroutine context dot uh, to string and I'm going to paste this uh, same line of code but inside our uh, with context function. Okay, so now I'm going to run the app and I'm going to open up a locket so I can see uh, what result uh, we're going to get from uh, our uh, from our code. Okay. So as you can see, the first line of code uh, which was printed uh, was this uh, log inside our global scope. And as you can see, this first uh, log statement uh, was uh, running on a dispatcher IO. And then uh, with this uh, with context function, we have changed the dispatcher to dispatcher main. So basically, uh, this uh, with context function can be used, uh, for example, uh, when you want to switch uh, dispatcher to main to execute some uh, UI code and uh, it's very convenient to use uh, inside a coroutine so basically with just a simple line of code you can change uh, dispatcher from your uh, already created uh, coroutine scope so uh, it is uh, very easy to use and basically uh, you can launch here some uh, network work and for example when you receive some uh, network result then you can just switch context and uh, change to dispatcher's main to update the UI for example and uh, let's open up this uh, with context function so I'm going to press control B okay so as you can see this is actually a suspend function because it has this suspend keyword so uh, in some of the previous videos in this uh, tutorial series uh, when I talked about uh, jobs and uh, cancellations I uh, told you that there are two ways to actually make your uh, function or your code uh, cancelable and uh, one way was by using uh, suspending functions from this uh, Kotlin X coroutines library and one of those function is actually with context. So uh, basically by using this uh, with context uh, function inside our uh, coroutine, we are making our coroutine uh, cancelable by default because this uh, with context function is uh, checking uh, by default if the coroutine in which was called is actually cancelled or not. So that's one more uh, positive thing about this function. So uh, that will be all for this video. Uh, comment down below if you want to see more videos about uh, Kotlin coroutines. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh see you next one oh my god oh my god if i die i'm a legend when they lay me down to rest